Well, um, I guess you all know now that I'm playing the, the new Sakai Trilogy Jones. Um, I asked for this Delamitra tour, I, I asked them if they'd make me a 14 by 14 uh, rack top. Um, and also there's an 18 back there too. And there's 16, 22. And the snare drum is a uh, 14 by 6.5 uh, mahogany Sakai. Yeah, love them. They sound wicked, honestly. Symbol wise, um, that crash over there is an 18 inch A, one of the new A's. The hi hats are new as well, yep. they're new A's, uh, so they're kind of 14 inch new beats, I guess. This is a Constantinople Renaissance 22 inch ride. And this one, you might be quite interested in, is one of the new Corot. That's actually a 20 inch ride, but yeah, I just you know you got Are you liking them? I, like, I love that. I've got, I've got some others too. Um, and I've not been able to talk about them until now, they've, they've, they're out, so... <laughs> and I'm using the, the Roland um, SBD SX, just to... Um, yeah. There's one loop on one of the songs, and uh, basically I've got it just set up... Um, just for clicks, basically, just, just a little bit of click at the front of the song, just to give me a reference click, and then I, and then I turn it off. That mic up there, I do a little bit of BVs and some shaker and stuff. And then my Porter and Davis, which I, I can't do anything really without anymore. I, um, I absolutely love it. And of course my trusty Vic Kurtz. Well, I guess in, in some respects they change. Like if, on this gig, it's very much a sort of rock and roll song sort of uh, gig. You know, groovy to a degree, but not. it's not really about groove in the groove sense. Um, Although each song has got a, got its own pocket, it's about it's about songwriting this this particular gig. So I guess for this, I think about Tom Petty, which would probably be now Ferroni, of course, Steve Ferroni, um, and Jim Keltner and Ringo and those sort of people is who I'm drawing from for this gig. Um, uh, and obviously the rockier sort of sounding drum kit, biggest bigger symbols, bigger drums. Um, yeah. yeah. So that's what, uh, for this particular, that's, that's the hat I'm putting on. Yeah, well I think there's a, there's a couple of really cool dudes I've seen. Um, there's a guy called Alex uh, Torgerson, um, who I met a couple of years ago actually. Um, and he did something, you kind of blew me away, because I asked him to play, he came, I think he came down to have a lesson with me when I was in London. Um, and I just asked him to play, like I ask everybody to play. Yeah. And he just sat down and he played a really nice, tasty little, lovely little groove. And he's, uh, he wasn't, uh, I don't know if he was 18 or 19 at the time. Um, but it was very interesting. Now it's with, with Lucy Spragan. Oh. Um, and he's just got a little endorsement with Zildjian. Um, and he's, he's great. He's a real, he's going to be one to watch, I think, for the future. Cool. There's other guys too that I've been checking out. Um, Wayne Proctor. With a band called King King, there. he's great because he's really hard working and, and you know, he's doing you know, lots of people. Um, there's lots of unsung heroes in the drama world, I think, and Wayne's one of them. There's, there's people that work really hard and they do loads and loads of shows and loads and loads of gigs, um, um, and yet, I don't know, it's really weird. People don't sort of focus on them, but I, I think he's one that people should check out for sure. There's some, there's some really cool drummers out there, man. There's a lot of, a lot of competition. <laughs> um, but luckily for me, I guess, I've been doing it long enough now. This is my 20th anniversary going wow. on the road with Delamitri. Um, so that kind of says it all. I mean, if they're into, if they're into what I'm into, which is like, you know, like, I like the, the older sound of drums. And like I've said many times about the, the trilogy in particular, they sound, they're made like they're, they're vintage, they sound a little vintage, um, and yet they've got the, the modern stuff that we require, which is the drums are round. I've got drums that are 50 years old and the drums aren't round, they're just, yeah. they're just not. <laughs> um, and uh, they sound fantastic, you know, and that three ply thing, it looks like now there's other companies yeah. now that are starting to bring it back to you, and they just scratch it at NAMA. Yeah. Got a new three ply kit. Which is, so it's interesting, it seems to be like a sound that people are getting back into. Um, and I've never not been into it, yeah. really. Um, I, I love that, that old noise, really. And what's, again, you know, what's great is that they're new drums. Um, I love the hardware too. And they sound wicked in the studio, and like, like you heard, they sound... Well, it sounded awesome tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, after, we finish this tour on the 7th of February. Um, then I've got a couple of days off, then I start rehearsals with Trevor Horn. He's 
got a uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, I think, from uh, the Music Producers Guild. Um, and we're doing a gig for him in front of hundreds of producers, which wow. will be kind of quite a good business opportunity, I guess. <laughs> Definitely. But, um, but that's with... Uh, what's great about that is it's, it's just a special show, really, for Trevor. Um, um, and we're going to play. Seal's coming over to sing um, a couple of songs. Um, also, the the guy that wrote and sang um, I'm Not In Love, which is a 10cc song, Eric Stewart, I think he's going to he's going to sing on that show, so it'd be a nice little special show, you know, playing with Seal and Trevor and everybody, amazing. That's that, and then after that, um, got a gig with Will Young, I think, he's uh, he's starting to come out of the woodwork again, because um, he's been on the, he's been doing lots of theatre, and now he's getting back into music again, so that's cool. Um, and then the voice, the live part of the voice starts in the middle of, uh, middle of March, 12th, 12th of March, I think we get back into it. Um, and that'll take me through till April. And in between, there's some, a few little sessions knocking around, so I'll be hopefully busy guy. Keep, keep busy, yeah. All good. Yes, Ash Sun, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.